Hey guys. I'm gonna open my alert. I'm really excited. So, oh, and in case you've watched more than just this video of mine, I have my nails did, which is new. Don't normally do anything with them because I suck at it. But I got these nails in my Ricky's Cult Crushes and it's been kind of a crappy week and so it's one of those things like, you know, you just wanna play, try something new, a little stress relief. So I put these on and the bestie says they're hideous. So let me know in the comments if you like these, hate these. I don't, I'm not a fan of the shape just because I'm used to short nails and I don't know how I'm functioning right now with these on. Like, I do not even know what to do myself. But I do like the like duo chromey holographic y type pink that is going on on them. They're kind of sparkly. And they're light colored and springy and I just need that in my life right now. So yeah, tell me down below if you like these or if I should instantly rip them off. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna get into this which is much more exciting than the state of my nails. Um, Allure, which I'm bad at this, I'm sorry. Allure is $15 a month. Um, but they, and they send some full size and some deluxe samples, um, of products. I can't get this open with these nails right now. Um, pause. This is more than what I need to do this, but it's, it's gonna happen. If I cut off a finger, call 911. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's $15 a month. Um, they send some full size, some not full size. Um, it just kind of depends. It varies from month to month how many are full and how many are not. The value varies pretty significantly from month to month, but it's always more than the $15. And I almost always at least like a couple of the products in this box. I don't know that I've ever gotten an alert box and been like, this is stupid. Whereas I've definitely gotten some other boxes like that from other companies, so. If you're interested, I'll leave all that info below. Um, you guys, seriously, I do not know how I'm gonna function with these nails at work tomorrow. They may have to come off tomorrow night simply because like, I need to be able to do things. Yay! Okay. Oh, they didn't write anything on the inside this time. I feel like normally there's something written here, but I could be very wrong about that. I I get way too many subscription boxes. And then there always comes with a book that tells you um, about what's in the box. So we're not gonna look at that yet. Ooh, I'm seeing something very cute in the top. This is the original makeup eraser sample. One, it's the number one reusable makeup removal system in the world. Makeup eraser and mermaids both are magical and only require water. This is the cutest packaging. Do you guys see this right now? It's got cute little like redheaded mermaids all over it. It's so cute. How to use wet, erase, and exfoliate. Oh, so I guess it's got one side that like takes off your makeup and then another side that exfoliates your skin. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to try this. I am not familiar with this at all, so I have no clue if they're cruelty free or not. I don't know anything about this. So I'll put the cruelty free status in the description as always. I'll give that a shot and let you guys know how that goes. I'm excited. And then, oh, this is, oh, it's nude sticks. Nice, and I'm pretty sure, but could be wrong that nude sticks is cruelty free. Again, I will double check that and put everything in the description, you guys. Function. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to like work really hard to get used to these tonight before I go to work tomorrow. Um. This is a gel color lip and cheek balm in the color 
J Mama. So it looks kind of browny pinky. Ooh, it's more of a pinky. Nudie color. That's pretty. It's kind of glistening. It's definitely got like a balmy texture to it. So that's neat. I'll give that a shot. I will not be using this on my cheeks though. I do not like cream products, but I'll use it on my lips. And then I'm seeing two things from the same brand. Yep, shampoo and conditioner from Rahua. It says it's rainforest grown for healthy, lustrous hair. And one is a shampoo and one is a conditioner. Um, so, hmm, cool. I'll give that a shot. Closer to when I'm getting my hair done again. And then I've got a Stellar Monica Dial Brilliant Primer. Cool. I've, I'm not familiar. The only brand so far that I've heard of is Nude Sticks and that one, which we'll get to in a second. It doesn't say anything about it. This is a dimethicone primer, so I think that should be good for my oily, pory skin, but we'll see. Let's see. Oh, it's got a tint to it. Kind of pinky. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's gonna be blurring. It almost might have like a reflect to it too. You probably can't see that in the light. Um, but it feels very soft and like dimethicone-y. So I'm excited to try that. Primers are always good. And then the last thing in the box is a Carez Pomegranate Balancing Cream Gel Moisturizer. Awesome. So I'll try that out. I wanna see what this smells like. I've gotten things from Carez before, but I cannot remember if they are cruelty-free or not. So I'm gonna have to look all of this up and let you guys know in the description box. Seriously. I'm gonna have to like trim these off or something. This is ridiculous. Cheese it is. Kids don't try this at home. <laughs> oh. It has a, is it fragrance free? No, it's got fragrance in it, which is not good for skincare. But it's light and it's odd. I'm not sure how to place it. But it's, oh, it's definitely very moisturizing and a little bit goes a long way. So that's cool, I'll try that out and see how that goes. And then that's the end of our box. And that's everything, I don't think that's bad. It's hard to really tell because I'm not super familiar with um, a lot of these brands. I know Carez is a Sephora brand and is really expensive. And again, I know, I think Nude Sticks is a Sephora brand and kind of expensive, but I've always heard good things about Nude Sticks, so that's good. I'm excited to try them out. That'll be the first thing I've had from them. And then these brands, I ain't got no clue. But we'll, we're gonna try them out and see. And if I look in the book, um, the full size makeup eraser is $20. The full size shampoo and conditioner are 34 and 36. So that's a high end brand. The Stellar Brilliant Primer, the full size is 42. Um, let's see, the primer's more expensive than the Caress. Let's see. And the Nude Sticks is $24. And I have a feeling this might be full size. Like this looks like a decent sized Nude Sticks as long as you know, they didn't only fill it to like halfway or something. So this alone might be worth, probably is worth the $15 I paid for the box. Um, so that's always good. And they always have like, if you look in the book, like they're, like a lot of the brands will include like discounts and stuff for you to go online if you want to order more from them. And especially when you get product like brands that you know, that's re always really good. So anyway, I'm going to try not to make this video super long with just me rambling. So I'm going to get off of here. Love you guys. See you later.